Get him out of here. Tyler! What did you do? He's gone. He's just... gone. I know. But you... Shut up. Just take her body in the back. Vince! I need to tell you something. Hey, hey, why are you crying? That night... The text message... You were right. You were right. There was something between me and Bruce. I wanted to tell you. I was just so... Vince. I screwed everything up. That's really tough to hear. I'm sorry. Was I not enough for you? Of course you were. Things just got complicated. We should have sent her to a hospital. It's what she wanted. I had to respect it. But what's happening? Come on, stay with me. Vince, why am I lying here? Was I in a car accident? You're scaring me right now, honey. Oh, God. Uh, it hurts. Where's my baby? Where's Zoe? We got her out. Remember? She's, she's safe now. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I have morphine. It'll ease the pain so you don't have to feel whatever might be about to happen. Vince. I don't know. What, what if I fall asleep and don't wake up? Let me make the pain go away. Please. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You can let go now. It's okay. Vince, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God the kid wasn't here. I keep thinking the same thing. Hey! 
guess you and me have something in common. Both lost people today. Should I express my pain by killing someone in cold blood? Look, I gotta ask. When you were out there, earlier, did you know what was gonna happen to Dale? Only once I saw the sniper. So you could have warned him? What, like you warned Michelle? Or Joyce? This is all so goddamn fucked up. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been kind of a messy night. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon, better not make me regret this. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Uh. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. I'm, I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero. Drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just lured him out there like... Like an animal? Got something to say? No. Nope. Go on. You think my Dale had it coming, don't you? After what he put us through, my wife just died because of all this shit. So, yeah. What's your name? Vince. He's got a family. Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now, Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family? I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Okay, look, the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants some book he thinks you stole. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Just hold on now! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't know all the history here, but I talked to your sheriff, and he was bad news. You're perceptive. I'll give you that. But it don't mean all that much. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. Sorry about your wife, by the way. I mean that. What the hell's going on? 
Jim? Are you okay? No. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. That is, if your big gamble pays off. Wasn't it hot enough for you in the frying pan? We were gonna lay low here until Romero got bored of chasing his own tail. Next thing we knew, half the sheriff's department was out. I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So if you have any ideas... Why'd you let me talk you into Route 66? We could have gone through Utah. Nothing but Mormons and South Flats. I just hope Zoe's okay out there. This night is too much for any kid. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. It's some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. Tails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. Yeah, we replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't hardwood, so... You saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? Walk right into that one. <laughs> oh, look at his face. I almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa! <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh. Hey! Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload.
<laughs> you ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines? Yeah, I see him. I'm watching the birds sometimes. Well, looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Huh? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys! I guess you finished the roof then, seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? No, it was, it was me. <laughs> Take that dumbass smirk off your face. You did a good job, but you look like a fucking halfwit. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <laughs> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. In God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Mm. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taken too long, and then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Present some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I have been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home?
depends on who you are and what you want. My name is Mr. Thorne. I represent an organization that has a financial agreement with your father. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Listen, son, I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Jay, forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces, like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. The shed's in the back. Yeah, away from the road. Whew. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why 
just me turning off the lights. Halfway there. Hey, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family, if you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> it must be hard. I know I hated my life when I was your age. I was fat, my dad was never around. Mine was. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me, said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could, could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. Hmm. 
Shouldn't be much longer now. How are you doing? About, you know, Michelle. Never pictured us going on a road trip. You know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vance. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I'm not gonna do it. I know where she was coming from, but... I'm gonna hire a lawyer and sue those bastards for all they're worth. Really? Well, in the car earlier, I was just giving you a hard time. Huh. No, you were right. It doesn't even matter if I win. I'm just not gonna take it lying down. Huh. Then I'm proud of you, son. You mean... I guess the bus won't be here any minute. We can't go home again? Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, look. My cancer. It's not as bad as I made it out. In fact, it... Uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed. And suddenly, I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vance. It came from a good place. So the doctor visits, the, the chemo options, that CAT scan you showed me? What can I say? If you're gonna lie, might as well go all in. I can't believe this. Even from you. You have every reason to be angry. But Vince, you lost your wife tonight. And I want to be there for you. For Zoe. I walked out on my family, but I can be there for yours. You're all I have, Vince. So I'm coming clean. Can you give me another chance? My whole life has been one lie after another. How can you ever expect me to trust you after this? I... I don't know. I just hoped. When tonight's over, I think it's best we go our separate ways. <sighs> No, I... I understand. All right, everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? Won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay!
Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <laughs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. <laughs> Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. We stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. Wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him.
Anything? Nothing. Mm. Uh, ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Uh, please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Yeah, I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. Please. Oh, help. shit. We gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Help Do me. it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. Sorry. They'll come for you. They fought me. Look like you need it. To he who falls last. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. What I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war, taking care of that stranger tonight. Family, 
means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. You say all that about family, but you beat on Tyler and Dale. You're always mean to Ma. Well, one day soon, I reckon they'll forgive me. He was right, wasn't he? Those people he worked for, they'll come for us. It's me they'll come for. But I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Twenty-seven years. Oh, I knew he had his demons, but God, Bear, why couldn't you talk to me? We could have fixed this together. No payout for suicides. Hope you told him that. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, they'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Support. Ma, it's over. We can't win. Uh. 
Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run! 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 I know. I'm going fast as I can. Ah. Jesus. What now? Oh, that's not good. We need to get out. Now. Come on. Mother... Uh. Paul! Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Grab my hands. Here we go. Oh, crap. What happened? Don't wait! Get clear of the building! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please let me fit through that. What a freaking mess. I trusted you, and you chose them over me. Look, I was scared. I made the wrong call. I thought if I helped them, they'd help me in return. That's called conspiracy. I could arrest you for that, but I won't. The Holtz. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than to ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? Yeah, I read it. Ah. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Hey, where do you think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what exactly did you read? Oh! 
Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello. And who might you be? Where's my mommy and daddy? I need to make sure they're okay. She's that guy Vince's kid. Cops were meant to be watching her. Want to go for a ride, darling? Let her go. I don't think so. Zoe, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be in the car. The policewoman left the door open, and I wanted to find you. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. I lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by, by taking my little girl? Relax, it ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car, ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. Atta boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please, so no one gets hurt. Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down. You are not taking her. I'm not letting it happen. Then shoot him, Jay. Do it. I've sacrificed too much already. Oh, sweetheart. I know. <laughs> Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Daddy! Zoe! Zoe! Oh, shit! Need some help here? Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. It wasn't always like that, you know? It's strange where life can take you. Oh, my God. 
Hey, it's okay. You don't gotta cry. This isn't my car. Mine's a red SUV. The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Stop, God Almighty, let me tell you the news. My head's been wet with the midnight dews. Now I've been down on bended knees, talking to the man from Galilee. My God spoke, he spoke so sweet. Thought I heard the shuffle of angels' feet. He put one hand upon my head. Great God Almighty, let me tell you what he said. Tell that long-tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter Tell him the God's gonna cut him down Tell him the God's gonna cut him down You may run and hide, slip and slide Try to take the moat from your neighbor's eyes But sure there is the rich and poor You're gonna reap my brother what you sow You may run on for a long time Run on for a long time Run on for a long time Sooner or later God'll cut you down